Hey folks, it's the Daily Moogle here, and I have done a little bit of leveling up, as you can see. Everybody's 21 and 22. Um, I also collected a shit ton of money. <laughs> I'm almost at 100k, actually. And, um, what else did I do? Uh, let's see, I also put... Uh, let's see, where the... No, not Stella. Lydia. I put the Book of Worm on her, which... I didn't really think would be, like, a shield type of thing. Like, you'd kind of think it'd, it'd just be kind of an accessory, but a shield works, I guess. Um, but yeah, she actually apparently learns new skills this way when she levels up. But you have to have this equipped, or she doesn't learn the skills. Um, so, for example, she learned Flame Breath. And, um, again, it's not a very good skill. <laughs> it's really not. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Excuse me. So, I, I kind of still just rely on her physical attack to do a little bit of extra damage, and then, other than that, I'll, uh, just have her use, like, healing items and stuff like that. But, um, the next order of business is we actually gotta take out this Dragon Lord guy over here. And, to be honest, you can actually handle him, uh, without buying that fire equipment, uh, at the shop. Um, I was actually able to do it without that stuff, so I'm going to attempt to do it again while I'm recording, and we'll see how it goes. If I'm recording, usually this means uh, it's not going to go my way, but... What the hell, you know, let's try it. Worst that happens is everybody dies and we just try it again. Um, so, let's see. Just everybody attack, attack... Edward does a lot of damage, so you definitely want to have him attack as much as possible. Like, every single turn, basically. Because <laughs> that's as often as he can attack. That was kind of dumb to say. But yeah, 590. Yeah, he's going to use Flame Wind a lot, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage to uh, Edward and Lydia. So basically, odds are Mel is going to die. Um... Yeah, which is fine. Teijal can kind of keep herself alive with Drain. And then, because the attacks don't do a lot to Edward and Lydia, you can kind of just heal them up as needed. And, uh, really, you'll be just fine. See, I'm going to get screwed with Teijal, though, because I should have used Drain. On the off chance that he attacked first, but... Um, I'm actually a little bit confused about why I don't have any healing items. I must, <laughs> I must have, uh, bought some before, and then I forgot to do it this time. So that's a pretty good sign that we're going to fail. But you never know, we could pull it out still. Yeah, whatever. That's why I have Cassia Leaves. Bum, ba -da. Such epic music. Nice. If Edward would get a critical hit, that'd actually be better. Yeah, there you go. See, we got him. No problem. You know what? And I'm looking at Audacity right now, which is what I use to record my mic. And I'm actually clipping a little bit. <laughs> I'm talking too loud, slash I need to actually turn the mic volume down a little bit. Let me see if I can turn it down a little bit real quick. Or something like that, maybe. Just so I can kind of talk the way I have been and not... Yeah, now it's not clipping, so that might be better. Sorry for the volume change there, guys. I'll, um, I'll get everything squared away eventually here. But yeah, we get a quarter key for killing... Well, not killing him, but for beating him in battle anyway. Good luck on your quest, two legs two legs. You're walking on two legs. Jackass. Well, anyway, that is all there is to it. Um, I'd like to kind of crawl my way back to the inn, I guess. Because I would like to revive Mel and then heal up a little bit. There we go. 
And then uh, we're gonna get the heck out of here. That key was all we needed. And the fastest way to get out of here, I remembered, is to just use your compass. Like, you don't even have to pay the thousand gold to go back to Tar Vedran. You can just use your compass anywhere and it takes you right back to your ship. So, that's handy. Like, we've already seen how handy it is, but that case in particular is extremely handy. Because it saves you a lot of money. And time and effort if you were going to actually attempt to, like, trek back all the way by foot. But uh, the next order of business, we're going to sail down here to kind of the southwest. No, this is the southeast, rather, <laughs> corner of the world. This area right here is the bazaar. Boom, 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 boom. Some fun music. And yeah, we can buy some pretty good healing items here. Uh, the star peaches are, you know, they're a little bit pricey, but they do recover 300 health, so... I'm gonna buy a lot of those. It is a beautiful day, is it not? It wasn't a beautiful day here, let me tell you. We just had, like, a monsoon for about 10 minutes. And we ordered Pizza Hut, and I went to pick it up, and of course it started pouring right when I left to pick it up. Um, but anyway, this guy Rufus... So instead of returning the dude's dragon scale back to him that we did uh, at the end of the last video, you actually could have brought it here instead, and you would sell it to this guy for money. But... Uh, for turning in the scale, we got... I think we got this crown, right? Isn't that how we got that? Which is part of another quest. So, unless you're, like, in dire need of some money, I highly recommend that you don't sell it to this guy. You want to get the crown so you can fulfill the other quest. But you have the option if you want it. <laughs> What's this? What's she doing in the water over here? <laughs> Um, let's see. Citizens from all over the world come here to trade rare items. This is the guy that we are going to make our wine delivery to. Because if you remember... Yeah, the guy was at the bazaar, so here he is. And then there's the guy with a blue hat. <laughs> hiding way back here. The bazaar has exotic fruits from all over the world. It's actually not that big of a bazaar, really. There's only two shops. And you can only buy, a, like, a couple items at each one. But maybe there's more stuff here as the game progresses. It could be one of those areas that kind of develops more stuff over time, and maybe we'll come back here at some point. But, now that that's done, um, you know what I do need to do? And since we just delivered some wine, now is especially a good time to do it. We should return back to... I think it was up here. Um... I don't think this is it, is it? No. I want to go back to Chateau Lenore and the Moo Hatchery because we have an egg to hatch. Remember. Oh, that's Avion. I'm way... I'm way back in the wrong spot. Here we go. Yeah, I gotta go up through the rocks. Jeez, man. And here it is. Okay. Wait a minute. What's that egg doing there? Is that... Is that mine? I didn't bring that here. Oh, that's the golden goose egg. Oh, yeah, because the golden goose wanders around outside. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> For a second, I was like, what the heck is that? So, yep, let's go ahead and hatch our Firebird Egg. And that's actually my first Golden Goose Egg that I picked up, because I just haven't come back here in a while. So... I actually don't know what it does. I'm kind of eager to find out what it does. And this Firebird Egg, too. Um... I guess we can check our... The heck is it? Where'd you go? Golden Egg, where are you? Seriously, where are you? Oh, there you are. I can't select you, that's why I skipped over it. A goose egg made of 24 karat gold. 
So maybe this is an item that you can just sell for a lot of money at shops and stuff like that. Perhaps that is what it is. Perhaps. But yeah, let's run over here and get our uh, wine reward, and then we'll pick up the next delivery too, because it might actually be in the next city that we're eventually going to get to, because that's, again, that's how the kind of the wine deliveries typically, typically go, right? They're always sort of aligned with where you need to go anyway. Nice. Oh, maybe not. This person's in the underworld. And the, uh... Wow, the gold didn't even double. It actually more than doubled. Wow. Now we're in the big leagues. We're the big-time wine deliverers. Um, okay. I need to go back to my ship, so why am I walking? I'm just gonna use this thing again. Um, there you are. And then, uh, the next area we want to go to is also in the southeastern corner of the world. So there was the bazaar down there. And then what we want to do is just dock our ship right up here on this other island. And yep, we got another forest to go through. How about that? So we had Brightwood Forest, and now we have... Fadir Forest. That's how I'm going to say that. I hope that's right. Even if it's not, um, that's how I'm going to say it, I guess. Because <laughs> by the time I get corrected, I'm, it, I'm just going to be used to saying it that way anyway, is the problem. Like, it's really hard to unsay something once you're just used to saying it a certain way. Oh, crap. Berserk? Hopefully that doesn't stay on after battle. No, it doesn't look like it does. But those guys are really easy. And they didn't drop a lot of money. Was I supposed to come here first? Did I do things out of order? And now this place is going to be too easy? Other than the berserk part, I'm not excited about that. <laughs> Mel only did 8 damage to Edward. <laughs> That's pathetic. At least you do more to the enemies. What is that, like, dark rock right here? I can't... I can't do anything with it, so I guess it's nothing. Alright, well, let's go up around this way, then. Uh, holy crap, there's like a griffin over there. Well, whatever. There's nothing up there. What the heck? I haven't found any treasure yet. What? What? How did I... What? I thought I went that way. Are you serious? I know I came this way. Oh, but I fought the bees and then I just left. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is the most thorough <laughs> exploration I've ever seen. Oh, the bees are dead? All right, I don't have to go any further. Okay, now let's let's go back over here now. I know there's more treasure than that. Come on, this area is huge. That's a dead end. That's awesome. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Oops. Uh, you know what, I'll fight you guys. Because I'm actually excited about something that I want to mention. So for Christmas, uh, you know, almost five, six months ago now, I got a uh, telescope. Kind of just a beginner one, but it's a good one. And I finally used it successfully for the first time last night. I was able to look at the moon. And, um... Even something as big and shiny and obvious as the moon is kind of tough to get, like, to get your telescope pointed right at the right spot. I'm kind of afraid of that griffin thing. But I gotta fight him anyway. But, um, yeah, I finally figured out kind of how to make it work. Um, in addition to the telescope itself, I got a little accessory kit that comes with, like, different, 
uh, lenses and different filters that you can use. So there's a filter that you can put on specifically for observing the moon. And that kind of hurt, by the way. And, uh, holy crap. Just one-shotted Mel there at full health. Or almost full health. And Lydia learns Dragon Snort. Snort flames on an enemy. Hopefully that's a little bit better than Flame Breath. It's only 10 more MP. Oh my god, that guy dropped a lot of money. But anyway, yeah, where was I? So there's a lunar, a lunar moon filter that you can put on it that kind of basically just helps the moon look better through the telescope. And um, when I use that, um, I got a pretty clear view. Like, it was awesome. You could cl clearly see the shape of it, and you could see craters and stuff. I'm really fascinated by uh, observing the planets and stars and stuff. Uh, this time of the year is supposed to be the best time to see Saturn as well. Um, Saturn was in opposition on, the t what was it, the 22nd? The night of the 22nd, I think. Um, which just means that it's uh, right in between the sun. The, I'm sorry, the Earth is right in between the sun and Saturn. So basically what that means is it's the best time of the year. Like the single best time of the year to try and observe it because it's fully illuminated, and it's also the closest, you know, proximity-wise to the Earth that it's going to be all year as well. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter because I couldn't find Saturn <laughs> that night. I tried for like an hour and a half, and it was cold that night too. But um, I eventually did end up finding a planet-looking thing in what's called the finder scope of it. The finder scope is just a, you know, a less powerful lens that you look through. Basically just to try to make sure you're looking at something. Like it gives you a broader view in the sky and you, you just try to find whatever you're trying to look at in there first. And then you can use the fine adjustments to actually find it through the actual, you know, the larger, fuller telescope lens, I guess. I'm still learning all, like, the, the terminology, so... I think you get what I'm trying to say, though. Um... Man, that Berserk status is kind of annoying, isn't it? I should be able to protect against that somehow, shouldn't I? I'm just kind of looking for what spells I can... I don't think I actually have anything. I mean, Cleanse probably gets rid of it, but... Or just, like, put shield on them, and that way they can't... Even if they attack themselves, like, they can't hurt themselves. I don't know. Oh, let's go up here. But yeah, it was really cool. Like, and I, I do still want to try really hard to see Saturn. Um, tonight's not a good night because it's cloudy, and like I said, it was raining like crazy. Oh, come on. My two strongest hitters have to be berserked. Oh no, we're, Edward's fine now. Sweet. So yeah, anyway, I saw something in my finder scope, but then I... I couldn't see it through the telescope, and it turns out I discovered this after finding the moon, that the finder scope and the, the telescope were not aligned very well. So even though I was seeing it in the finder scope... Uh, I, I, you know, I couldn't see it through the actual telescope, and I couldn't figure out why. I was probably very close, but, um, just couldn't get the adjustments quite right to get it in my field of view. Um, I tried to take some pictures of it with my iPhone. Like, people actually have, like, special mounts just to be able to take pictures of what they're seeing through their telescope. And I know I'm kind of going in circles here. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to that that chest right there. It's on, like, a little island by itself. Oh, no, I see. I gotta get to it from the right. Um, 
Yeah, I tried to take pictures of it with my iPhone, and it just doesn't work. Like, it doesn't do it justice, it just looks like a, a ball of light. <laughs> it looks a lot better when you're actually looking at it yourself. But yeah, people have special mounts that... Um, I guess somehow, like, allows you to take really good pictures of what you're seeing through your telescope. And I just picked up a Berserk amulet, I'm assuming that's going to protect against Berserk. And maybe we can even buy those at the town that we're trying to get to. Um, so, let's see, we read that sign a while back that said uh, this place was supposed to be in the east... And, uh, yeah, I keep running into dead ends here. Must be up this way in east, right? Cause I think I already went over there, didn't I? No, this doesn't actually look familiar. Wait, is that the entrance? Oh, no, this is something else. This is a fairy portal. I don't think I can get in here yet, can I? You see a large stone slab with a winged creature painted on it. There's a tiny keyhole on the right. What's this? A door in the woods with fairies painted on it? Edward, isn't this the area where the quarter key is marked on the map? Oh, it is, really? So we found the right place. But yeah, we can't get in right now. So that must be why we gotta go to the city first. I mean, we want to go to the city anyway, but yeah, I'm glad I figured out where that place is accidentally, because we're going to need to come back there, apparently. Yeah, there's like a whole area up here that I didn't even get to yet. Nice, another level egg. Alright, you're all by yourself. I can probably handle you. <laughs> Emphasis on the word probably. Holy frickin' Jesus! <laughs> wow. Just mauled Tejal. That was pretty impressive. Like, I can't even be upset about that. I can't wait till I'm doing that much damage. But, uh, yeah, let's heal you because there's more battles to come. And you know what? Stella hasn't done anything yet. No, 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 no. Uh, this one. Rely on Drain to fill up the rest of it. If you don't get Berserked. Oh, come on, Mel. Oh, come on, Berserk. We are not off to a great start here. It is a good thing the bees are so easy to kill, otherwise this would just be a ginormous pain in the butt. Alright, I think we're almost there. Um, oh, okay, so yeah, I don't want to go back down. Alright. But what about over here? Is there anything? Nothing? Really? Not even a pile of dirt. Whatever. Um, okay, so this must be the way to the town. Wait, I've been here before? God, this is, this is what I get for rambling about, like, other stuff. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind. But clearly, I'm losing my focus. So you know what? This looks like a nice, quiet spot for a rest. <laughs> as good as anywhere else. I'll cut the video right here, and then uh, we'll just head to the town in the next video and explore the town and go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. This is The Daily Moogle, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.